everybody. My name is James Angeloni, the Denture Man. Uh, and today we're going to be featuring a couple products uh, that I utilize in a laboratory and that you could utilize in your office to get a more predictable and precise model. Uh, even though we are in a commercial lab right now, we are not going to be utilizing any of the equipment that we have back here, like the Whitmix machine or the high-end vibrator that we have back here. We're going to be utilizing a small shaker like you would have in your dental practice. Uh, but the first product I want to show you is the Wonder Fill Admix. Um, this is a great product. It'll take away from your surfactants, but it'll also give you a more smoother, denser model. Uh, it'll help with expansion and contraction, so our appliances will fit a lot nicer, uh, which I like and what I utilize for my big all-on-four cases. Uh, but you're going to have two different sizes with Admix. you got the larger size that I use and the smaller size that we could use in the practice. Both are exactly the same. Uh, what you're also going to get in the kit are a bunch of these little syringes. Uh, and what I always do is go ahead, we're going to utilize a small bottle today. Go ahead and take one of the syringes and syringe it right in the bottle. Uh, the bottles are going to come empty so you can save on shipping costs because all there is is we're going to add some water in there. Uh, so once the admix is actually in the jug, we want to go ahead and use distilled water. We're going to have the distilled water because of our autoclaves and we're not going to want to utilize the tap water from the faucet because the tap water is going to have different minerals, different deposits, um, and it might uh, make our models a little less accurate. So we already have the distilled water, so go ahead and use the distilled water and fill up your container. Uh, you want to go ahead and fill it all the way up, try not to spill it all over the place. And this will take away from all your surfactants and everything else that you try to utilize to make a more precise model. So there you go, we filled it to the top with distilled water, and then we're gonna go ahead and shake it up. So now that we have the admix all in the container, all shaken up, what I'm gonna do is how I use it in my lab is what I go ahead and I get a ketchup dispensing bottle. Because we're also gonna utilize your graduated cylinder, and sometimes when we're trying to get the right powder water ratio for our models, um, the large nozzle on this might not uh, be as adequate as using the ketchup bottle. So we have it shaken up pretty good and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put it in my ketchup dispensing container like so and we got about another whole container inside here that we're going to utilize when this dispenser is gone. So now that we have our proper Admix all mixed up and ready to go in our ketchup container. We're going to have to know what stone we're going to be using. So for the average stone that you're going to be using for an alginate impression, uh, what I use is Whitmix's Microstone. Why? Because of the fact that it's already pre-weighed. Now in the laboratory, we have about five to six different stones on the different appliances that we're going to be making. Uh, so in the lab, we're always going to use the Whitmix machine because we have it here. Uh, and we're also going to weigh out everything that we use to get the most accurate model. So the Microstone, it's already weighed out for us. So what you're going to want to do is get yourself a graduated cylinder. And I have a graduated cylinder that was actually 100 milliliters. So what I did is I went and I, I cut it at 41 millimeters, 41 millimeter, milliliters. Uh, the packet indicates that we're going to need 40 milliliters, and the reason I cut it down to 41 is to take up for the meniscus, which is the meniscus is, is the bubble that you'll get in your graduated cylinder. So the meniscus is about one milliliter on this graduated cylinder. So therefore, I cut it off at 41. So every time you're going to go ahead and use uh, the microstone, or whatever stone that you're going to use, you're going to know the weight, either to get the pre-weight packages or go ahead and weigh it out, and then go ahead and use your graduated cylinder to fill up your admix. So this is all I'm going to do for my model that we're going to be making in a second. So go ahead and fill it up to the 41. And now we have the proper water powder ratio for the model. The second product we're going to be using is, I'm about to get a, a lower impression back from the clinic, and we're going to be using the Wonderfill to actually use as a tongue spacer. So we're going to go ahead and get that impression busted out real quick. We're going to come back, and we're going to go ahead and pour up a nice model for you. All right, we just got our impression back from the clinic. Let's see how that looks. That looks pretty good. First thing we want to do is disinfect 
your impression. I'm going to use Cavicide one minute. So go ahead and just spray that, sit that aside. And at this time we can go ahead and get our admix, put it in our graduated cylinder just like before. So that 41 milliliters. Have that standing by. Of course we're going to use our microstone. And I like it when we could uh, pre-weigh and uh, put our admix in the graduated cylinder before because of the fact that if you add your water first and then your stone, you'll notice the mixture will uh, get nice and mixed a little faster than usual. Okay, so the other product we're going to be using is the Wonder Fill. Uh, go ahead and open up the Wonder Fill, and what you're going to see is the Wonder Fill itself in the bag, and you're going to see a nice article by my buddy Tom Zelensky. Go ahead and read that one, and some other product information from Deno Creations. So take your model and go ahead and rinse the cavicide off, shake off the excess water, and what you're going to have is this. So go ahead, open your Wonder Fill, and we're just going to be filling this tongue space in right here, so we're not going to need a lot. And this product is reusable, so I actually have a container of brand new and another container of used. So I'm going to go ahead and get yourself a nice little golf ball size of Admix, or Wonder Fill as I was, and go ahead and adapt that into the impression without distorting the impression itself. So I'm just going to add that in right there. Try not to distort the impression itself. And what that's going to do is give you a nice attractive model to send out to any laboratory. So I'm just going to go ahead and adapt it in there. It will stick to every impression material. This access back here, I'm just going to pinch off. So we're not going to need that. That's a little too much. And we're just going to go ahead and adapt it. Making sure that we're not distorting any of the impression itself. Now if you really want to get it nice and smooth, go ahead and wet your finger and you can go ahead and smooth out this product really nicely. Look at that, that is nice. So we have that. So now we're gonna go ahead, put this aside, add our add mix into the bowl, 41 milliliters, and once again we're gonna be using the microstone from Whitmix. Take all the powder to the bottom of the bag. What I like to do is cut the top of the bag off and then slowly add the powder into the liquid. The add mix. First thing I'm gonna do is give it a nice spatulating here. And you can see how much faster and less clumpy it is when you add the powder to the admix. So that's looking really good right there. Now what I'm gonna do to get all the bubbles out, I'm gonna go ahead and turn your vibrator on. Now this is one that you're gonna have at your practices. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spin the bowl and bring the product up the edge of the bowl. Now it's gonna bust all the bubbles and give you a real nice creamy mixture. And then what I like to do is hold the bowl down, give it a little shaking, and you can see how smooth that is. That is beautiful right there. So then, I'm going to take our impression, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start adding their stone here and let it flow to the other side to prevent any bubbles in the impression itself. So I'm going to go ahead, stick the impression on the tray right there, look at that go. And just add a little bit of time. See it flow down, nice and smooth, no bubbles. Go ahead and add a little more, and we're just going to watch it go all the way to the other side. We're just going to add it on this side because we already have the teeth covered. Just going to fill the rest of it in. We 
gonna take the rest of the product out of the bowl. And go ahead and put it right there. That's where that tongue space is gonna really nice and hold it for us, just like that. Look at all the product is used, there's no waste. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and spatulate it off the retromolar pad. Just keep it on the impression so we don't lock it in. And you notice when you have that right mixture, there's not gonna be no slump. You could stack it, it's gonna be nice and, and even, nice and smooth. So I'm not gonna recommend anybody to flip the impression over. Go ahead and utilize one of your impression trees. Stick the model just like that on your tree and go ahead and let it set for the recommended time of the manufacturer. So when you have it like this, the, the right powder water ratio, it's gonna stack. If it's too loose, it's gonna slump all over the place and make a huge mess right here. If it's too firm, it's not gonna flow into the teeth and therefore you'll have bubbles. Once again, you don't wanna flip the impression over because of all the, the, the minerals and the, um, the deposits in the stone itself are gonna utilize gravity and flow down to the teeth where it's gonna make it nice and strong. Just like when you go ahead and you, you pull out uh, an impression off your model and you're always breaking teeth, it's gonna be two things. One, the shore hardness of the impression material is not strong enough, or it's too strong for that recommended stone, or all that hard mineral deposits fell to the bottom of the, the base when you flipped it over. So don't flip it over, just let it sit just like this. Let it wait for the recommended time of the manufacturer, and then go ahead and you can take it out of your impression. All right, model's all taken care of. It's a beautiful model we took with the products that we use today. Uh, and that's, it's as easy as that. And I'd like to give a special thanks to Dental Creations for the Wonderfill and Admix and Whitmix for the Microstone. And if you like what you see, please subscribe, leave a comment below. If you would like to see something from the lab or the clinic, please put it in the comments. And this is James Angeloni, the Denture Man, and we'll see you in the lab.